Hello lovely Leos, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at the energies surrounding the week of April 11th. I really hope you're doing well. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as I do weekly and monthly readings. And if this is a value for you, thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. What do we have for you, Leos? Okay, I'm going to take these two. Right. We have on the bottom nine of swords and six of swords. Right. So this talks about mind. So basically, if you don't control your mind, someone else will. So here we have the nine of swords moment. So six of, it's in the morning. It's not six o'clock. It's three o'clock. You wake up and your little chatterbox is going around and around about the same subject. And you feel like, you know, you feel like those swords are going to come get you. But they're not. Okay. So the situation is nearly at the end. It's nine of swords. So it's nearly, you're nearly at the end. You're not there yet. But what other cards suggest, six of swords, is you take your boat and your family and your swords and you go to the smoother waters. You're going to leave the past to the past. Because if you, as Six of Swords talks about, if you focus on the hurt, you're always going to be the victim. But if you focus on the lesson, you are going to grow. Okay? So this is kind of nearly, you're not nearly making the decision to leave at the Nine of Swords. But to combine with the Six of Swords, you're, you better yourself, it takes over and says, I'm taking control. I'm going to control the situation. And I'm going to control the way I react to what's happening surrounding me. Okay. It doesn't have to be big drama. But sometimes those little nagly dramas and little uncomfortable moments actually are the ones that keeps us awake at three o'clock. Okay. Right. Okay. That's the start. But look what we have for you, Leos. Ace of Pentacles. Lovely. So Ace of Pentacles talks about... It's a good time to start something new. It's a really manifestation. It's an earthly sign. Okay. So as you're taking the Six of Swords and you're going away somewhere else, it's great to start uh, something new. And the ideas that come in, it feels like they're going to manifest. It's not just wishy-washy. Okay. So you here you see her, the road leads to the pyramids. It's kind of like the dream is big. Okay, and when the dream is so big, there is no space for fear. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. We have justice here. And justice here is talking about the balance. The work and life balance, the physical and the spiritual, because it's all connected. Okay, there could be that there are some situations that you have um, something to do with law. Okay, so clearly uh, keep an eye out for the small print. Ask professionals for advice, okay? And but as well, justice could be that you want the justice. You want the justice being done, okay? And that's where the sword sometimes is the kind of like it's not over yet. You want to literally, um, not maybe revenge, but you want to kind of have that closure. But what six of swords and talks about when you leave with the boat. You leave that negativity behind. Otherwise, you're going to be constantly the victim of the hurt. You're going to be constantly looking back. Don't look back because you're not going that direction, my friend. Okay? And as much as you want the justice and as much as you want a payback time for someone else, you know what? That will come to them. Okay? Because karma is definitely after. And it could be that you want to take the legal action. And if that's the case, absolutely. But do it right, okay? So you are, otherwise you're going to be felt like abused and you're going to become abuser. It's, it's never a good idea. Right, we have the sun. So when the sun is here, it feels like the drama smooth is over. Okay, I'll always believe the sun comes in and reading. It takes the harsh corners of the situation. So it, even though it looked quite dramatic and things like that, but you know what things, I think believe that things happen for a reason, okay? Because feelings are just the visitors, okay? And let them go. Let them come and let them go. 
and focus on something good. It's a victorious. It is definitely going to bring this kind of... I grew from this situation. It wasn't just I took the upper hand, okay? Because I could, you know, what's that. But things happen for a reason. And I'm glad the way they happened, okay? Because, Leo, your card is strength. And strength is the inner strength in you, okay? And this one is similar. I, when I think of Leo, it's the sun. It's the brightness. It's this whatever the sun brings out, the best of us, okay? So this is definitely kind of bring you that lesson that being the bigger, better person is always, always a good, good idea. And here we have the five wands. So there could be some... Some sort of tip for tap, okay? This could be something said or the surrounding this maybe situation, okay? Because maybe sometimes you have decided, you know what? I don't want to be this prison in my own mind. And I'm going to start something new. I'm going to spring out on my own and and move on. And people sometimes get used to, you know, poor you, poor you, Leo. Uh, and so and so, you know, and not everyone always wants your growth and success. Let them, okay. And when it's so nice when toxic people stop talking to you, it's like the trash took out itself, right? <laughs> that kind of feels the kind of feeling because King of Pentacles, look, you are so good. You love money. You are surrounded by money. And look, I like as well. Look at the colors in the cards. It's the same on the sun. It's the orangey yellow. It's a solar plexus, okay. And it's the King of Pentacles talks about becoming individual um, in your finances, um, independence, as well for managing your life well. Because Pentacles are manifestation, okay? So it's, it's, it's always good to see that there is Ace together with a higher kind of ranking card, okay? So that means that you can take that idea. You can take it and deliver it. You can bring to that end result, manifest, okay? So whatever that is, big or small, whatever it feels like, it could be that you want to kind of end the situation here. It could be inner conflict, right? And the inner strength is saying to you, bring that sun out. Everyone's Leo, everyone's want to see your strengths, your power because when you are at your best everyone's happy around you because you're such a sunny and shiny and a lovely person okay you don't like these lower energies try to keep yourself up there so the lower energies are let them be down there and they can't get to you okay right because you got it you got that strength in you and that is so amazing all right let's clarify Leo, what we got for you if this resonates with you, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. You know the score. Alrighty. Let's go for it. Okay, leveling up. Anchor. Money. Money. The arrow and the world. Ooh, lovely. And we have got the white bird. White bird is kind of set yourself free. Don't judge yourself. Okay. And be gentle to yourself and let it go. If you need to let go of any kind of feelings, the bad feelings, let them go. Imagine that you're letting the bird fly and that's how you let it go. And as well, keep your intentions clear, okay? Because remember, the karma is, karma is watching you. <laughs> All right, so we have the level. So be fair, okay? Firm, but fair. Firm, fair and firm, correct. And it talks about like leveling up. Okay, so this is interesting. And this seems like it's going to be kind of... Um, sometimes Anchor talks about a bit stagnant, baby. Stagnant, feeling stagnant. But it is, talks about as well settling in. Or building something with strong foundations. Okay, so you, this is kind of like long-term thing. And as well talks about the boundaries. You're setting your boundaries here. This is who I am. And I want to be better. I want to improve something. And the money, money is on your mind. Okay. So this is good to see. So we had the pentacles um, energy surrounding. So this definitely probably is something that's going to improve your financial situation. 
it could be at work or even your little side hustle going on and this card talks about when you set your goals keep keep them close okay so go exactly for what you want don't settle for second best because the world is on your side so which is great card to see and when you decide what you want world is going to protect you and universe gets your back you are never alone if you have your intentions clean and clear right leos let's clarify what we got there right so we have archangel raphael so maybe when you have these moments when you need to leave something behind ask for help to clear your energy try to detoxify yourself okay so this is kind of helps um, to heal yourself your body your soul so you can start this new journey nice and clean and clear okay so there's no trash coming with you okay and it states the card no conditions on the right so it's something to do with uh, maybe the timing just be mindful if there is um if you're taking any legal action okay just be really particular on that you are doing the right thing okay in the right time and don't force things happen they're gonna happen as they need to happen right my lovely leos i'm gonna leave you on this note and thanks for being here and i'll see you in the next reading bye bye